faceless commentator named Kong Sung Gan has become one of the most prolific Hong Kong Twitter activists and has been cited as an expert source on the Hong Kong freedom struggle by Western mainstream media outlets including CNN, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and The Guardian. Hong is also a columnist at Hong Kong Free Press, which describes itself as the most independent and credible English language news source in Greater China. Kong poses as a native Hong Kong resident on the front lines of a supposed struggle for democracy. There's just one problem. He's not who he says he is. The Grey Zone analyzed a series of clips that reveal the true identity of Kong. In the first audio clip, Kong Song Gan can be heard talking to the Little Red podcast. I spoke to the activist and writer Kong Song Gan. You know, 3.8 million protesters have been out on the streets since uh, June 9. And, you know, before that, there were a couple of uh, anti extradition protests in April and May as well. In this second clip, an American man living in Hong Kong named Brian Kern can be heard speaking to RTHK at a march ahead of the Tiananmen Square anniversary. It's uh, very important to mark the occasion of the 30th anniversary of uh, June 4 and the Tiananmen Massacre. It's something that uh, everyone in the world uh, should remember, and especially we who live here in Hong Kong, because the uh, effects of uh, the Tiananmen Massacre are felt by us every day in the city still. Now here's Brian Kern on video giving an interview in May 2018. China's changed so rapidly in some ways, but it's stuck in time in this way. There's been no political reform since 1989. China's still a dictatorship under the Communist Party. And once again, here's the voice of Kong Sung Gan. Uh, 15 million protesters have come out over the past year, and the vast majority of those protesters uh, have been and remain uh, nonviolent. That voice certainly seems to belong to Brian Kern, which would mean that Brian Kern is Kong Sung Gan in Yellowface. A former staffer at Amnesty International, a member of their education team, with close ties to the human rights industry, Brian Kern has become a familiar figure at Hong Kong protests. He's been photographed cleaning egg stains off walls and has even been filmed coordinating with rioters in videos circulating on social media. Recently, Kern was filmed screaming at the Hong Kong police. Kern appears to have published four books about Hong Kong under the pseudonyms Kong Sang Gan and Jun Yu Zhang. Jun Yu Zhang dedicated the book The Liberationists to Myron, who struggled so long to be free. Brian Kern's mother is named Myron. The Liberationists was also dedicated to someone referred to simply as Y. Similarly, Kong Sang Gan dedicated Liberate Hong Kong, Stories from the Freedom Struggle to Why for the Shared Struggle. The name of Brian Kern's wife, Yatman, begins with the letter Y. Pima Press is the publisher for the work by Jun and Kong. Brian Kern's daughter happens to be named Pema, the same name as the publisher. So if prominent commentator Kong Sang Gan is Brian Kern. Did his editors at Free Press know? Well, here's Kern greeting Hong Kong Free Press editor-in-chief Tom Grundy at a protest in Hong Kong. Then there's Chris Patton, the last British colonial governor of Hong Kong, who blurbed Kong's most recent book. Did Patton know Kong was Brian Kern? And what about the Western media that routinely quotes Kong as an on-the-ground expert? We hear a lot about fake news these days, but what about fake sources? Mm -hmm.